Hello everyone. So today I am here to tell you about something new I'm trying and I'm going to give you some information on it and show you what I'm doing with it and yeah. So I am going to try the real real for the first time. Um, I have never tried it. I've heard some good things about it and I have some things that are pretty high end and not really like what people on Poshmark would be looking for and so I just thought I'd give the real real a chance and so this is going to be a part one where I'm going to show you what I'm sending them. I have 10 things and I'm going to also insert at the end a little walkthrough on how you get started with them. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm sending them in hopes that they can sell it better than I can on Poshmark. So at one point at Savers, I found these Prada Sport Wedge Suede Black Shoes. On Poshmark, they're only at maybe like two likes, so we'll try that there. One time I found this Chloe little, like, I don't know, cosmetic bag? I'm not even sure what this is. So I'm going to send them that as well. Recently, actually at the bins, I found this really pretty, it's an Oscar de la Renta scarf. The gold parts are actually kind of almost metallic-y at some parts. It's very pretty. There's the Oscar de la Renta. That I never listed, but I really don't imagine that being something that people on Poshmark are looking for. And I know I could probably list these on eBay, and actually a lot of these I've tried, because eBay kind of seems like more of a luxury retail or resale place. But they didn't work on there either, like these. These are some Marc Jacobs pants. They've got that black detailing, I thought. Oh, I thought it was at the bottom too, but it's not. They have this black detailing. Um, those haven't been selling on eBay or Poshmark, so we'll see what the real real can do for me. I've got these, they're in amazing condition, like, they look like they've never been worn. They're Stuart Weitzman, but they're an older style. A nice color, though. I've got these Stuart Weitzmans. Kind of like a netting with bow heel. And then I've got four tops. Actually, three tops and a dress. I'm going to send them one of my Helmet Lang pieces that I believe I've hauled. It's this sheer button up. My pants I'm keeping for now, the Helmet Lang pants. I have some things that I would send them also, but I'm a little more hesitant on. I don't know if I want to yet. And so if this goes well, maybe I will send them. But for now, I'm just going to keep them and keep trying. I have this Tory Burch button black top. I have this button up. It's current Elliot. Mm -hmm. And I have this Kenzo dress, which I believe was in a haul also. And so you have to look through, they have a list of designers they take. I actually first decided I wanted to do this because I wanted to send them my St. John because I have like three St. John pieces that aren't moving. I actually have four. But apparently, for some reason right now, they're not accepting St. John. They also won't take my Millie top, which is another super high-end designer. They do have both brands listed, though, for sale. So I assume maybe at different points they switch out. So I'm just going to have to keep checking for when they take St. John, because Poshmark is not a place for St. John. And I've seen some people sell St. John on eBay for nearly nothing. So I don't really want to do that either. St. John is very expensive, so. But yeah, I am going to now insert a clip of kind of how you get started and how you consign with the real real. 
So this is what the Real Reels website looks like, and you can see that I'm already signed in. Um, you can shop around or consign. Um, you can shop around using the search right here, or you can pick a category, and then to consign, consign you hit this button right here. When you consign, you put all your information in right here, and then on the next screen after you submit, it will ask if you want to have an expert, what they call it, come to your house and look at your stuff and kind of appraise the value, and then I think they just take what you want them to take or leave what you want them to leave. Or if you're like me, you just get a free shipping label from them and then you mail in your things to them. Um, they use FedEx, so you'll have to go to a Walgreens or a FedEx location to drop off that package. But yeah, it's a free shipping label, so that's awesome. Then, once you get to the screen for what you're going to send in, you kind of, like, pick the category of what item it is, and then you pick the designer that made the piece. There's a huge list, but you kind of have to look through because they don't, they definitely don't take everything. They take kind of higher ends. Um, and then... Let's just act like I'm doing current Elliot. Then you pick kind of what the piece is. And then you just add it to your list. So it's kind of like you're making like a reverse shopping list. You just make a list of what you're going to send in. Um, and then after that, you just hit the consign button under there. And you just get your free label, they email it to you, or you can print it from the website, and you box it up and you send it in. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on how this all goes for me, and I'll make more parts to this kind of series-ish situation. And yeah, so if you guys want to see the rest, subscribe. Also be sure to like and comment and let me know if you've ever used a real reel and how it went for you, and I'll let you know how it went for me. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.